Welcome primary four, we're still talking about the digestive system in the human. We take in the last session, the mouse, the pharynx, esophagus, and the stomach. Today we will talk about the small intestine. The small intestine, it is the most important part in the digestive system. But at first, let's know that the length of the, of the small intestine is 6 meters. That means that it's very, very long. Okay? Now, let's know the function or the job of the small intestine. Why the small intestine is the most important part in the digestive system? Because the, in the, the small intest intestine, the food is completely digest digestion and we get all the nutrients from the food in the small intestine. So, the completely digestion of the food happened in the small intestine. How the complete digestion of the food happened in the small intestine? Because in the small intestine, the liver and the pancreas put or secrete their juices inside it. What is the meaning of that? Let's see this picture. In this picture, that's the digestive system, right? Right. This organ is called liver. And this yellow organ is called pancreas. The liver and the pancreas help the digestive system in the digestion of the food. Why? Secreting or formed digestive juices. Do you remember the digestive juices from the last session? Yes. Digestive juices, they are the juices that help in the digestion of the food. Okay? So... The liver put its juice in the small intestine here. That's the small intestine, right? Here it's the end of the stomach and the beginning of the small intestine. Okay, can you see this green tube? This green tube is connected to the small intestine. The liver secrete or put its juice in the small intestine here. And also the pancreas put its digestive juice in the small intestine here. Okay, these juices help to complete digestion of the food in the small intestine and change all the food into the nutrients okay then now the nutrients are ready to go to every part of our body and the body get benefit from the nutrients as example if i eat a piece of meat here in the small intestine the piece of meat is completely digest digested and it changes into protein. So, my body needs this protein to go to the muscles and build it, right? How the nutrients or the digestive, the digested food go out from the small intestine and go to every part of our body by the blood. In the small intestine, the blood enters the small intestine and absorb the digested food or the nutrients and carry it to every part in our body. So, there is two important processes happening here in the small intestine. Number one, complete digestion of the food. Number two, absorption of the food or the blood absorbs the food. Complete digestion of the food happened by the help of the digestive juices of liver and pancreas that secreted in the small intestine. These digestive juices change the food and complete digested it into nutrients. Then the blood carry the nutrients from the small intestine and give it to every part of our body or, of, or every cell in our body to get benefit from it. Okay? Okay. But not all we eat the body need it. There is undigested food or food remains that's the food that the body doesn't need it or that the, the food that if it, if it is still inside our body it will harm our body we call this food undigested food or food remains that food this food remains the blood doesn't absorb it why because the body doesn't need it so it move from the small intestine and go to the large intestine Let's see the digestive system here. Here, in the small intestine, when the blood absorbs the digested food and carry it to every cell in our body, the undigested food or the food remains that the, the blood doesn't take it, they move from the small intestine and go to the what? To the large intestine. 
what happened in the large intestine in the large intestine large intestine stores undigested food inside it or the food remains are stored in the large intestine then the large intestine start to absorb the water from the undigested food and the change undigested food from liquid into solid that make the stool do you know the stool yes how the stool is formed because the large intestine absorbs the water from the food remains or undigested food then this stool which is harmful material get out from our body through the anus so don't forget the blood absorbs digested food from the small intestine but the large intestine absorbs the water from the food remains or undigested food to change it into stool now we finish the digestive system in the humans let's go to the digestive system in animals there is a big difference between the digestive system between the humans and the animals and between the animals each other why because not all the animals feed on the same type of the food right but all of the animals need the food to get what to get the energy but there is a big difference between the digestive system in the animals we also are talking about the adaptation okay and this difference in the structure of the digestive system in the animals is a type of adaptation which type structural or behavioral yes structural why because it's in the animal body so here as you can see that's the digestive system in cow and that's the digestive system in dog why they are different because they eat different type of the food right the cow eats what yes it eats grass or plants but the dog eats what eats meat so this this there is a big difference in the foods that they eat so there is a difference in the structure of the digestive system which is a type of adaptation right right okay do you know that the plant or the grass that the cow eat it's very difficult to uh, digest it but the meat that the, the dog eats it's easy to digest it okay as you can see here in the cow it's a long or a short digestive system yes it's a long but here in the dog it's a short digestive system all of this it's the esophagus and the rest of the digestive system is here but all of this is a digestive system of the cow so the digestive system in the cow is longer than in the dog why because the plant that the cow eat it's a difficult or hard to digest than the meat that the dog eat here in the cow we have four stomachs let's count one two three and four why because the cow eats plant and plants are difficult to digest but here in the dog we have how many stomach just one stomach why because the dog eats meat and meat it's it's easy to digest let's let's see a comparison between the digestive system in the cow and the dog so the digestive system in the cow is long but in the dog is short excellent so the digestive system in the cow has four stomachs or more than one stomach why because it eats a plant which is hard to digest but in the dog it contains just one stomach why because it eats meat which is easier in the digestion let's go to the teeth the teeth is a part of the digestive system right in the digestive system in the human we will take them out when we take the mouse I told you that the mouse contain teeth tongue and saliva so the teeth it's a part of the digestive system right look at the teeth of the cow and the teeth of the dog there is a big difference right right here in the cow the teeth is flat or similar right but here in the dog it's sharp the teeth is sharp why in the cow why the cow doesn't need a sharp teeth because it eats what plant it needs a sharp teeth to eat plant no plant it's easy to show it 
and cut it into small pieces, right? But in the dog, dog eats meat. It's easy to show the meat like the plant? No, it's hard to show the meat. So the dog has sharp teeth. So the cow, digestive system in the cow is long and it has more than one stomach. But in the dog, the digestive system is short and it has just one stomach. The teeth in the cow is flat or similar, but in the dog is short. So that's the difference between the digestive system in the cow and the dog. Now, let's know the similarities between the digestive system in cow, dog, and the human. The three digestive systems are started with the, very good, mouse, and ended with the anus. That's the mouse of the human digestive system, and, started and ended with anus, here in the digestive system of the uh, dog started with mouse and ended with anus and also here in the cow it started with mouse and ended with anus so the three digestive systems are similar in they started with mouse and ended with anus thank you for listening Ms. Hiba Ahmed was with you